All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Central Cast Chat Show. I'm the Chief Jahara. We never came down to the school too bad, so we take our bunch of ass work, so I can get out And right now, I just want to find one place to, I just want, I want some actual, some decent visuals. And it's on some, I don't know why, I just, I want to do the black and white thing again. But again, in order for black and white to hit, in order for black and white visuals to actually do something, the background and scenery needs to be nice. So I'm thinking about where I can do that. Now, there's one place and it's by the water, but it's kind of far to get there. So I'm thinking like, should I make that move? Should I make that trap? Um, no, um, no. And that's just the first one. And it's just, and it's just because I want to do that. It's just because I want to get some black and white visuals. Um, so, Right now, I'm just on this walk. I'm trying to see where I possibly could. I'd like to stop at the restaurant over here, but you're not going to see nothing but windows and, you know what I'm saying, woods. So I just don't that's actually going to be cool in the background. You know what I'm saying? Because it's about being classy, never trashy. So I just want to get some classy visuals and vibes uh, with my book. I just want some classy visuals and vibes with the book. And so, the other place, even though I, don't, I think it's on the water, I'm not even sure if it's going to be even, maybe even capture that in the visual, but it's the fact that you want to hear. And uh, yeah, I just think that's going to be hard. I just think that's hard. So, and then, then I'm waiting because it's like, I want to I want to make the visuals last longer. I want to do like, open it up, cut the sun off, light it up, grab it up, type of thing. So, that's how, I, I, I got it in my head of how I want to do it. I want to sit down, you know what I'm saying? Put my bag down, pull out the cigar, cut the cigar, light it up, and then grab my book. And I don't even want to, uh, I don't want to edit it. I just want to put it in black and white and then post it. I got to think of some R&B music to hit. So, that's the, that's the vibe right now. That's the vibe. And then, oh, snap. Hey, Miss Lady. Hi. How you feeling? I know. You, you okay being on camera or you know? Yeah. All right. Say good morning, good morning, good morning. Morning. How you feeling today? Tired. Tired? The day just started. How you tired already? I ain't getting no sleep. <laughs> Why not? What's what's keep, who keeping you up? What's keeping you up? <laughs> Mac Daddy? Nah, hey, it's man. the bed I'm sleeping on. Oh, the bed? Oh, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. I get that. I get that. Mostly. Word, word. <laughs> what you plan? What you plan on doing for the day? Nothing. You got your bracelets for sale? Okay. Everybody yesterday was telling me to fuck off. You talking uh, people out here? Yeah. Like, I'm through it over here. Ah, uh, okay. So you need a new spot? Yeah, like they were telling me to fuck off. They was cussing at you for real? Get the hell away from me. Oh, no, that's tough. I, I ain't got time for that. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> Let me see if I can just pop this up. Like, when I had a kid with me, we had a problem, but it comes down my stairs. Uh huh. Oh, no, nah, you about to be on the phone? Yeah. Ah, uh, never mind, never mind. Uh, so, she's just something to the computer, you know what I'm saying? I said, what's up? To the game, to the channel, to the podcast. Oh, I'm gonna keep it moving. Keep it pepping. Hello. Oh, but yeah. Hello. Uh, so, mm, yeah, like I said, I'm trying to get some boat. Some class, trying to get some class in here. Trying to get some class in here. This. No. Thing is though, when I get over there, bro, oh, you know I'm gonna. Uh, actually, you know what I'm about to do? I'm about to take this other cigar bag out and uh, just carry that. So, uh, what else do I want to do? I want to do the bombs, shot talk. Dang, no puppy. Bro, it's shit sad, bro. It's like, because when you, you can't, like, yeah, I can't be canceling. Like, yes, they be doing some messed up stuff. But y'all I mean, try to cancel their music. It's like, bro, what? R. Kelly still got some good songs, bro. 
Puffy ain't got a lot of good songs, but he got some classics, bro. He got some classics, bro. Like, y'all trying to cancel this man music? Bro, you know how whack that is? Hey, if you be on Instagram, right? Soon as Young Thug went to jail, all his music, you can't even use his music. I'm like, that's like, son, bro. You know how, you know how annoying that is to pop up on a song, and then it's like, well, you could, you click a post, and then you click on a post that says, audio not available. That is, uh, that is tragic. Here go the Gladiator. Jeep Gang, hold up. Jeep Gang, go bang. Yeah, the Gladiator. I didn't like the color. I didn't like the color of it. It was great. That was a weird thing, too. Let's get it. Let's do it. Big one. And then also, hopefully, we doing it outside. Me and the individuals outside. If I get to the right jam, I can do it so that the smoke is not coming on my clothes. And, you know, so get into the whole thing. All right. So I ain't going to hit Home Depot now. Right, so I'm up in the, but we do got a spot over there. We have a spot at the graffiti jungle over there. Uh, and since, since I'm walking this way, I'm going to show you page uh, page 6, 7, and 8 of the book. So last night, it was dark. Last night, it was dark. We just had to get it done. Now, the fact that it is done, that gives us to, <laughs> a chance today <laughs> to recap. Now nah, I started seeing it. This whole time I've been walking, bro, I've been walking for over an hour. The whole time I've been walking, I ain't sneezing at one time. A lot of factors go into that. But coincidentally, he just started doing that as soon as I started talking about my book, my eighth book. So my eighth book is a YouTube story book. My eighth book is a graffiti poetry YouTube book. My eighth book, I'm trying to get check it. I think I'm one second. I still want, I still want to go a second. You know what I'm talking about? That's fine. Ooh. Like, yo, what bike is that? Cause my phone is like, do you have a bike that is, bro? Um, I'm like, yo, can I just smoke with it? Well, I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask. Because that's tough. The bike is tough, bro. I'm going to ask, can I just smoke on it? Oh, nah. It got, oh, it got a fun. It's been messed up. Um, They're just tough. That's tough. Do, 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 do. Oops, I forgot. Where did that be, boy? I'm glad you found me. Nah, do you know who, uh, who bike that is? Motorcycle? Uh, yes, yeah, that's uh, my associates in the back. Can I, uh, can I ask him a question? Hey man, go outside this way. And uh, you'll see him right here. His name is James. He'll probably be working on that red Silverado. So right. walk out this way. Okay. Hey man. Uh, real quick. You said you got one? Ooh. Hold on, hold on. I'm vlogging. Sheesh. Yes, sir. Nah, that's too hot. Custom made or Amazon or what? This is Ruach. This is a UK based um, company. Uh huh. And this helmet. Is it okay if I show you on my vlog? You just want to keep oh, on you good, bro. Okay, okay, okay. James. It's good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know, but you tell me, Ruach. But yeah, it's, uh, this is the Ruach Atlas 4.0. It is a UK-based company. Uh-huh. Highly recommend them. Wow. Like, these helmets are super lightweight. Okay. Full carbon fiber structure. Your comm system is tucked in the back, 
So that way you don't have it on the side catching extra wind noise, creating extra noise over your music. Oh, this is actually high tech here. Yes, sir. Okay, so tell me what's going on in the back here. So with here, you've got your Bluetooth comm system. Mm -hmm. It's held in by magnets. So you've got two neodymium magnets on the back of it that keep it locked in. Yeah. It's charged up by USB C. You've got, That's of course, power button, reset button in case you want to, like, you know, remove your device. Crazy reason, yeah. And then, you know, usual, you got your volume up, volume down. The plus and minus also double as skip forward or revert back. Double tap it, type of yes, thing. Yes, sir. And then she comes with the quick release chin strap, also magnetic, nice and tight. This is hot. And the design's not custom. This is just but one of shoot. their. This is one of their mini designs. Yeah. But this is the design that. It's like, man, if you're gonna get one, that's the one. This is the one that spoke to me most. Oh, that's, oh let me see. Uh, cause it says it says Ruroff on the back, right? Yes, sir. That's the company name. Ruroff. Okay. Wow. Certified. They are DOT certified. Mm -hmm. Um, and even though this visor specifically says track use only. Oh, you come right here. On that very edge. Okay. Yeah. This is indeed not a track helmet, uh, how unfortunately. Did, how does somebody know the difference? So a track helmet will be Snell approved and DOT approved. Okay. So when it comes to track days or doing MotoGP, which is like, you know, Formula One, but with bikes, you have to have a certain level of safety protection for your gear. And if I were to take this to a track, they would do their inspection and they would see that the Snell approval isn't on it. They would not let me use this helmet on that track because of it doesn't meet their safety requirements. So, but doing something like that, would they then offer you a what, like a helmet? No, when it comes to track days, they want you to bring your own gear uh -huh. due to They could make a lot of money if they did. Just they you know, could, yeah. they could. I do, I think they sell helmets and gear there mm -hmm. just in case you don't have your own stuff or you don't. Cause that would be gear. just like, you show up and then like, they tell you no, that's like, that's why. Yeah, yeah, if you don't have your gear and they're like, sorry, we can't let you run the track today. You gotta come back with the proper gear. Right. So for people interested in track days, I do recommend getting a Snell approved helmet and that you have the funds on deck for that because the track days are pricey. Now, I'm assuming they have Snell approved helmets? Uh, as far as Ruck goes, I believe they're mainly focused and specializing on DOT approved street helmets. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you got street bike helmet, right? Yes, sir. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, she's a 2022 YZF R3. And she's That's a little rough right now. Why you say that? My clutch is burnt out. Okay, okay. Because I ride her like she and R1. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, bro. That's all right. Oh, yeah. So once, right. I, once that clutch gets fixed, them wheelies coming back. No. Oh. That's how you feeling. Oh, yeah. I've been standing her up. <laughs> I done upgraded that rear sprocket, too. So I've got five extra teeth instead of the stock 43. Mm -hmm. So I'm running a 48 tooth sprocket. Oh, yeah. I don't have to touch that clutch to stand her up. Really? I can just... I was there going, bro. I wanted a bike so I was like, get a pocket rocket. That's pretty much what that is. I was like, get a well, pocket crotch ro rocket anyway. Pocket rocket's the little mini. Bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so is that the actual name for it? Yeah, yeah. You've got the pocket rockets, which is like a, a categorization. So you've got sport bike slash street bike. You've mm -hmm. got your tours, your sport adventurers, your sport tours. You got your ADVs. If you just like, like, when you take, you talk about the money and the funniness in the third, like, mm -hmm. pocket rockets you can get for like three, four. Oh, yeah. Cheap. So how much can you get the, the ones you're talking about, though? My bike, um, the MSRP on it is 5500 out the door. And, like, if you want to pay for but it all at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... Now, if you go the route I took, which is the finance route, you're looking at about 150 a month, depending on how much you already put down on it. That ain't bad. For example, we did two bands down, and we're doing 153 a month for five years. Okay. And my insurance ain't but 183 a month. Yeah, 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 so yeah. So it's not, it's not too bad, but it's right around that sweet spot for it being a sport bike. Uh-huh. Because, you know, we sport bike is crazy out here. <laughs> yeah. So when you going to get that out uh, of jump face, bro? So you can... Yeah, I'm hoping this next check coming up. Okay. okay. Yeah, right now I'm in the mix between fighting my car and fighting the bike. Yeah, he's like, sure my bill's covered. Yeah, priorities, priorities. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, well, listen, boss, I'm going to go out there in front and whatnot, but that was hot, bro. Thank you, man. So it's hopefully like people can just learn from my channel, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Random information. Oh, interesting shit. Interesting in the bikes and you know, all that. Let me fucking... It's on YouTube. Now, I talk about... I gotta give you a disclaimer. I post a whole bunch of... Like, you know oh, what you mean? good, so, bro. You so good, like, trust <laughs> me. Trust me. So it low-key be annoying. 
They're like, yo, he posting that. Like, I got over 900 videos right so now. So it's what? QM space Dynasty D Y N A S T Y. Oh, I put Dynasty. <laughs> He right next to each other, boom. That's your boy. Hell yeah. That's your boy. So, I was looking, I was like, yo, I was trying to find like a place where I can do like some good. Go ahead and turn Come. your notifications on while I'm at. Oh, that's too much love, bro. Because I got my sixth book right here. Okay. And so, um, I was thinking like, I was trying to do like the classy black and white visuals. You know, so I was like, where can I just like, because I know some place on the water down there, that music place. Yeah, like, can't stay. And yeah, so I was about to walk over there, but then I was like, I just saw that bike. Like, yo, this a, I was like, yo, what's this bike? Yo, who owns this thing, yeah? Hell yeah, um, man. So I was like, I'm gonna light my cigar just right there on the bike, but it's gonna be hot. It's gonna yeah, be too hot. Shit, if you wanna uh, mention her name in the video too, her name is Deceptibike. Deceptibike? Can you spell yeah. it for me? D. Oh, oh, here, you got it fast. Since you're allowing me, since you're allowing me to use your bike, bro. Um, oh, here we go. Deceptibike. Uh, where at? Oh, hey, man, my, the way I'm so free about this jam, bro, is anywhere, everywhere. It doesn't matter where you want to sign, bro. I'm going to make sure I find it. You're the second person to sign my book. For real? Well, this is my sixth one. Oh, shit, okay. I just got, I just got the sixth one. Let's and see. I just posted my seventh one the, uh, the other day. You know what? Since all those took, I'm going to come right here. Oh, ain't nothing taken, bro. You can, oh, sign. Yeah, like, you can like, sign right here if you want. You can sign right there. It okay. don't matter. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Anywhere. Shit, too bad they ain't 200 to 10 pages. I signed it on page 210. <laughs> That's what they call me. A word. There's a whole story you? behind it. Too. I was about to say, why they call you that? All right, so a few years oh, ago. Oh, you can tell me? Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So a few years ago when I was in construction, um, we was in Miami. Mm -hmm. So, Tim, make sure you put today's date. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> Hey, but hey, I'm adding art to it. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's adding all, art. It's called the Graffiti Jungle, bro. So it's all part of the story. Oh, hell the, yeah. It's the 14th, right? Or 15th, 15th. Is it the 15th? A April 15th? Yep, yep. Because last, yes, last night I was like, six more days till 420. <laughs> he said six more days till 420. Fun well, fact. <laughs> you my birthday it. was eight days ago. Your birthday was. Oh, you Aries? Yes, sir. Jenny. Uh, I'm, I'm on March 25th. Hey. Where you at? April 7th. That's what's up. <laughs> Birthday just happy belated. Thank Your you. birthday was this weekend. Oh, oh last weekend. Last on weekend. On Sunday. Yeah. Right before the eclipse. That's too high. Two ten. Deceptibike. I'm putting it in there. Yes, sir. Dang, I'm putting it in there, bro. But um, yeah, the story behind it is, you know, we was we used um we had a big ass pallet of chemical mm -hmm. just sitting on the truck, no way of moving it with our pallet jack, so we had to kind of push it. And the uh, two older gents that were on my um crew, they were trying and trying and trying, and I had just got out of high school. Weight training was my favorite class. I looked at it, assessed the situation. I said, guys, watch out. He said, assess the situation. I got this. Yeah. Braced my back against that wall and just shoved that pallet out the way with my legs. Oh, you want to skip leg? You, you want to skip your leg day back then? Oh, God. <laughs> I love my squats. Wait, wait, wait. And I got up. I just looked at them. And they're like, I said, 210, bitch. And they're like, what the fuck is 210? I said, high school squat max, son. Like, I'm, a, I'm 145 pounds. I've yeah. been 145 pounds since high school. So that uh, that right there, you know what I'm saying? You already pushing more than your jank, bro. You know what I'm saying? You up there in the 200. He said, 210, man. And ever since that day, 210 has stuck with me. And that's been years now, huh? Years. Dang. I, did, I was in construction for... I bet, bet. Um, I've been in construction for about three years. Uh -huh. I specialized in concrete aesthetics and repairs. Yeah. And um, started when I was 18. Got out of that when I was 21 to 22. So a good three, four years. Yeah, about three, four years. And yeah, every, for like that whole span of like three, four years up until this today, I've been known as 210. 210. And I've got my buddies, they throw references or um, not references. They throw their own slang on it. Like I got a few of them that will say it in other languages. Like I, I got, got one dude. He be like, "Hey, those yeah, what's you going on?" Deceptibite, deceptibite. That's too like, what's good? So why you go to Decepticons and not Optimus Prime? Why you ain't go to Autobots, bro? I'm a menace. I am a menace in <laughs> to these society. Streets. A menace to society. I'm straight up. Yeah. Like I be lane splitting this shit. I be maxing my bike speed on these streets. Because you can. Just, Just cause. because I can. Just Nobody cause. buys a bike to go slow, especially a sport bike. Ain't nobody gonna buy that to go slow. Exactly. Like even with my clutch burning out, slipping, I'm still That's trying not to max. Matter. He maxed out. Right. And people know it too. Yeah. And I, I'm pretty coming. sure they look, look, they relax right now. You got what you call it too? 
You got a bike? I mean, uh, a jacket? Dude, I got full suit. Oh, you got a full suit? I got full suit. I got um, two two-piece suits that zip into a one-piece at the waist. Yeah. yeah that motherfucker. I ain't never heard of a two-piece suit. That's tough. Yeah, I wanted to go one piece, but you got it for it. You got to step into that bit. That's yeah, you got it. Ah, that's hot. You got to step into that. It's the it's that top one that gets you. Uh, you, you, you really got it, yeah. yeah you want and they got to be tight. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. want it snug. Yeah. If it's loose and you go down, yeah. There's a chance that that concrete is gonna grab that loose piece and, pull and you're that. gonna start tumbling. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've done been down a few times myself. Yeah. Like I've been thrown from my bike, but I've never had my clothing catch. So what they so they they go they sell it by the height or something. Hmm? They gotta sell that by the height or something. No, um, it's actually they have um measuring graphs, like small, medium, large, and they put what size of inches in diameter and all that oh, okay. next to it. Okay, okay. And that's how I went through and found mine. First one I got was just one size too big. Okay. It was just one size too big at the time. Then I got the one that I currently wear, which is not a size smaller. Mm -hmm. So now I just kind of got an extra set on deck. But if I do end up getting a little bit bigger, which I'm planning to, got hit that gym again. Thanks. I got it on deck and I'm ready to run. Say less. Say less. Fortunately, I ain't knee down just yet. Uh -huh. That's when you know they get low and that knee touch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I've gotten close. What's this? What's this? On your, what's on your, uh, your wrist? This is a old tattoo that I did. Is that, a, is that an octopus? Yeah. <laughs> and it says you did. I did this. I did all my art, all my piercings, all my tats. I did. Them. Really? Yes, sir. Congratulations, bro. Thank you. Because that's the next step for me. Like I want to do. You know, so I want to. I want to step into this. But this is um, a tattoo that my friend designed for me years it's, back. So it's not a sticking post. It's an actual gun. Actual tattoo gun. Uh huh. I got a full kit. Word. And it's uh, it says sunk. Oh, really? And my interpretation from How? this is... How? Huh? How? What yeah. do you mean? Oh, it says right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. S-U-N-K. Okay, okay, okay. But this was, I believe, the second or third tattoo that I did since I've started. So it's the octopus pulling down the ship? Well, there's no ship in there. Oh, God. I, I thought this triangle part was almost like... It could have been like the edge of a ship like coming down, almost. Almost? Yeah, like the, a part of a boat. Yeah, the, the way I look at it is... Uh -huh. Always in life, no matter what you do... No matter how hard you try, there will always come a time where you feel like you're sunk. And it's up to you to swim out. What if you okay? What if you can't swim? You're gonna find a way. Find a way. You will find a way. <laughs> find a way. It's a matter of survival. Yes, sir. It is. And yes, sir. this is Death Wish Skateboards. Oh. And I tatted it because it's one of my favorite brands out. What? Other than Thrasher, of course. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just a brand I've skated for years. Mm -hmm. It's always stuck with me and just the name alone, Death Wish. Yeah. I get asked almost on a daily, do I have a Death Wish? <laughs> now, because they, they say that there's some people who exist like that and it's because they don't even want to live no more. So they just go out here trying to do it for somebody trying, you know what I'm saying, to go ahead and- It's do. more so we don't feel we belong. It's just, we're not supposed to be here. And I look at the people like that, I'm one of them, as guardian angels. We're the true angels on this earth. We were sent here to help the people around us who are going through it, who don't know what to do, don't know where to go, don't know even where to start. I've lost track of how many people I've helped through my life. And it took me up until I was about 16 to realize that that's why I'm here. So, I mean, my guardian angel is working overtime you say on it's me. Like to realize that, why, why are you here? My purpose is to help others. To help others help others to help them get on the path that they need to be on yeah if they're damaged i want to fix them not for my own personal benefit but for theirs because i want them to strive the best that they've ever done yeah and that's why i tend to see a lot of purity in people i'm more open to giving the people a shot rather than you know oh i don't like the way this person looks or i don't like the energy even if i don't like the energy i will still give that person a shot because they could be going through something that i don't know about yeah. So I'm making my mission to find out what it is, because if I can help, best believe I'm a feeder. I always tell my friends, no matter what you need, no matter what time it is, if you need me, call me. I will be there. That's tough, bro. That's tough, bro. Thank you. Hey, you, you went deep right there. You went deep right <laughs> yeah, there, bro. <laughs> nah, that's good. That's the good. words be coming when the time right. Nah, that's all right. Though. I receive it. I receive it. That's all, right, bro. And it's like. So sometimes, like, another part, like, I be blogging too much now because you never know who you're going to come in contact with. Sir. And then, 
like the things that they say, how do we meet, what was going on this night there, I always got documentation every time of things. So that's why I was like, thank yeah, you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Uh, oh, yeah, shit, check this. So remember the helmet, right? Yeah. Notice how it's all samurai? Okay. Remember my nickname, 210? <laughs> samurai, 210. Bro, you like a walking art museum. The more I talk to you, bro, the more it's like, watch this out. Shit, you ain't even seen the other tats yet. I know, I know, I know. You know what I'm saying? See this right here? That's my tag. Uh, how'd you come up with it? I'm a huge fan of Spitfire, which is the sticker on the side of my box there, which is another skate brand that I also run on my wheels. And you still, still, you still board? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I keep the deck on go. No, because I, uh, I started a skate club at the, uh, high school. Yeah, so oh, I, shit, I, was, I, was, I used to be a teacher, bro, at Berkmore. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, do you ever be hitting the Sean Park? Mm, no, bro. Me, bro, I did it for the kids, bro. I got a cruiser. I'm not trying to do no. I got my, I got the big chunky wheels. I, ain't trying to do no tricks. I used to I be a cruiser bro. myself. Yeah, bro. But I don't be trying to do no bro. tricks. I'm like, dude, this is for y'all. <laughs> Matter of fact, one of my, my, my young boy, uh, he's still escaped. He's uh, he looking for brand sponsorship and all that. He's, I'm, I'm hoping that he gets that. You know what I'm saying? But finish. But yeah, I'm uh, That's what I'm talking about. Get the fuck in real quick. Yeah. Like shit, if you want, man. No, no, I got my cigar. Yes, I got my cigars. But uh, yeah, um, I'm a huge fan of the Spitfire logo, which is what's right here on the side. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, I had to throw my own little twisted tweak on it. Yeah. And I get asked constantly, is that Spitfire? I'm like, no, this is Twisted Smile. Twisted Smile. You want some Joker type shit. <laughs> He did make the most sense when it came down to it. The world was corrupt. He wanted it fixed. <laughs> they don't be understanding that, bro. I'm saying, he like... He pledges to the best one, bro. I think they, I, I think by they, far. I think they got a new one coming up, bro. And I just... I don't even, like... I don't know how to explain it, bro, but I just don't rock with this. I don't know why. I just don't rock with the new Joker, bro. Yeah, the new ones, they're not it. But some people appreciate the, the, the backstory. Or whatever, yeah, you know, yeah. So. I do love the war. Yeah. But, um... You said this is Twisted Smile. Yeah, this is Twisted Smile, and the TSSK stands for Twisted Smile Skate Crew. Uh, okay, I didn't notice it. T yeah, it's a bit faded. S S K. Okay, I didn't notice that first until you pointed it out. Yeah, and then I went with the K instead of the C because. Man, that beard is glorious, man. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I went with the K because instead of the C, you know, keep it twisted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to make it your own. And the reason why I chose Twisted Smile. It's because one, my smile is fucking twisted. Like, you see these teeth. But I rock it, I own it, it's me. You got to. Exactly. You got to. And um, it's like, it's, it's, it spoke to me. Mm -hmm. And then, you know. <whistles> yeah. Twisted smile, skate crew. This was the very first tattoo I have ever done on human skin. How'd you do it? In the mirror? In the mirror. This tattoo took me three hours. Hey, it was worth it. It was worth it. Yes, sir. When I was 18 years old, seven yes, years later, sir. holding strong. Yes, sir. Backwards. You did it backwards. Yes, sir. Did, you get yourself a stencil first? Yep. Okay, okay, okay. You gotta do it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, if you're gonna do something, you're gonna do, you gotta do it right, man. You gotta and do it then, right. You know, after Twisted Smile came, my boys loved it. They wanted a tattoo mm -hmm. on me. Yeah. I told them to design me one. It says Radiant. Radiant. And then you got the flower. Because even though it's in the dark, okay, no go matter ahead. what's in the dark, go ahead. it will always shine radiant. <laughs> All it takes is the will to believe and the strength to do. He said, even though it's in the dark, he said, it's always going to shine. Yes, sir. That's what's up. That's what's up. And then there's one more. And this was the last tattoo I did on myself. Because it's been a while. My ink expired. Yeah. So I just ain't really you been. Gotta re you got you got a lot of creative pursuits and passions, so it's like trying to maintain them all at one time. Yeah, it's it's a it's a task. <laughs> He's like, you know what? This year I'm just gonna focus on the bike. This year I focus on this. And a lot of people ask me why I designed it the way I did. 
And that's because I wanted it to contour with my body. Your body. Uh, that's a four, seven, what's your birthday? Four, seven, 99. It's your birthday. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I put that together somewhere. Yeah, it's your birthday. Very, very, very. Because yeah, you know, everybody got they, they, their, their little, the usual Roman numerals tattoo, just a straight line. Bro, this is my sixth book. I called it six. Yeah, I peeped it. As soon as I looked at it, that was the first thing that I noticed. Right. But yeah, you know, everybody's got that straight line tattoo. Uh -huh. I wanted difference. I wanted to stand out from the crowd. So I was like, I'm going to contour this tattoo to the way my body is built. Personality. Exactly. And that's the way I did that. And everybody's like, oh, that doesn't look right, man. It's ugly. It's crooked. And I'm like, yeah, and I'm the one who did it. Mm -hmm. This is my vision. If you wanted it, you should have did it yourself. Right. That's why I love being who I am and having the abilities I have because I can present myself the way I want to be presented. Mm -hmm. I can claim that I did this. It's me. This is 210. 210. 210. Yeah, I feel like man. I'm spilling my life story to you, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm here to listen, man. I'm here to Hell listen. yeah. I'm here to listen. Yeah, I've, I've done taps on others. I'm pretty sure they still standing strong to this day too. Thanks. So it's like, I love that my friends all have a piece of 210 with them. Hey bro, I was saying the same thing. I started, cause I started doing graffiti. And so my eighth book, I said, I'm gonna put my eighth book on the uh, graffiti. It's gonna be a, <laughs> I mean, <Please. laughs> I mean, if you, you can come with me, you know what I'm saying? Right there. I mean, I would, but oh, I, yeah. I don't know how long so, you're gonna be over I'm, there and I'm I got- Super quick. Okay, I'll be right back. I ain't gonna mess this up. Bro. Yeah, yeah. I love this thing, bro. I love this thing. I ain't gonna mess this up. Guess the price on it. Are we gonna do over under? Over under 250. Over. I'm gonna go 389. I wouldn't go above four. Is it above four? Above five? Above six? That's that. 783. It came from Ringo. <laughs> she is quality. Yeah. Hey, yo, Mako dudes in the truck said he waiting on us. I'm gonna be right back. No shit. He wanted me to relay a message. Motherfucker, we had a whole conversation down there while you was over there TikToking and shit. TikToking. Rip rapping. I sent the people. What's up, boss, man? Hey, what's oh, that? it's another James. <laughs> Uh, we got Jay and Jimbo, aka Two Ten. <laughs> yeah. Jay and he, Jimbo. He's the only one that calls me Jimbo. Okay, okay. That's oh, yeah. it. All the work on Earth, all the rest. Uh huh. Two Ten. Uh, bro, we might about to do something that, bro. We might about to get out. Yeah, I don't like split the pole. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, he said, no matter how high the pole is, he said, no matter how high the pole. As long as there's a pole, you split it. It's split. <laughs> I'm split pole and split. Okay. Real quick. Type shit. Now this one was too hot, bro. This one was too hot. Um, yeah, every time I do test drafts and I pass by, I try to see if I can stop. Instantly, every time. Like that. So I'm just trying to see where's the best side to get it from. But I like, I like this. And he had to fucking set. All right, yeah, yeah. We got to spin around. We got to spin around. Mm -hmm. That's why I gave her the septic bike, because she all fucked up like she came from war. Okay. She's still holding stuff. Is, is there any way we can set this? Like, can it sit somewhere? Where can that sit? Safely, because I want, I, want I want to be right here or something. So where can that safely sit? beginner rider i recommend shifting around seven to nine okay every month every oh okay, okay, okay every seven to nine thousand on rpm okay unless of course you're at a cruising speed that you enjoy you stay there yeah, yeah. see but that was the other thing the, the shifting down and just doing that so quick and fast when you're at a light you know what see, i'm trying to say when i'm at a light i don't pop her in the neutral i leave her in here okay 
And all I do is I just sit here and clutch. And when I'm ready to leave, I release the clutch and get the gas. And we, uh, can't go back to that same speed. Yeah, I can get back to any speed as soon as I'm wrong, as long as that clutch right. <laughs> Right now, she's got me limited on how fast I can go, what I can do. Just because of that. Just because of that. But two two paychecks for now. Oh, you know what I'm saying? He, oh, right so, so. he said this next one. I don't know. But then, then one after that, for sure, for sure, for sure. This shit, whatever comes first, whether the paycheck or my boy gets in touch with me, because he's got the same bike. Are you gonna take it off his? Yeah, I've already told him this. I hit a deer on his. Still, two ten. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> his starter is in this bike. Oh. Already. So his bike is part of mine. Already. Piece of, a piece of him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it just doesn't make sense. Okay. And so you're not even that worried about it for real. Yeah. Like when I hit, when I called him to let him know what happened, I was crying because I was like, dude, I fucked up the bike. Yeah. And he's like, fuck that bike, bro. Are you okay? That's love. That is true brother shit. That's love, you know what I'm saying? That, where, where it's part of priorities in there. He could have been super mad about the bike. He was exactly. Like, he been like, oh, that's my bro. You good? And that changed your whole that changed your whole mindset right there. Like, damn, like, he care. You know that what I'm saying? Instantly calmed me. Yeah. Like it brought me back to reality. It's like uh, this is my motherfucking brother. He ain't finna do me better. Yeah. If I'm injured on his shit, he ain't gonna be worried about his shit. Just yet, he's gonna worry about me first and make sure I'm good. And then afterwards, we'll figure it out. The rest of it, boom. As long as you here, you still alive. Yes, sir. We still got shit to do. <laughs> I'm planning to rebuild his bike for him. It's only right, right? That's fair. It's gonna take me some time, but anything worth right. waiting for. Anything worth waiting for. Yeah, if you might get in touch with him, his clutch will be in her too. <laughs> Straight like that. Straight like that. Now, I see this jet curved like that. I see it curved in there. Fuck that thing. You ain't gonna find me, bitch. Not easily. Y'all be fucking sucking that hole up in this. No, you're not gonna. You can, not easily, bitch. Dude, I came out of Walmart one time. No lie. Tackles like that. Hell no. I came out. I said. Hell no. Wait. Hey, listen. Cause you ever seen Transporter? Yeah, you know how to be twisting this shit out. I like yeah, that. Yeah, this dude's like got the magnetic on um, the magnetic ones, and they just swing up. I didn't know that shit was real or not, bro. That shit changed my life. I said, that was shit. That shit lit. Yeah, dude, there's tuck plates. There's all types of kits for that. Oh, it's legit. It's legit. He said, nah, they ain't made up, bro. It's they ain't just a movie. Fuck. He said, they just. Oh, yeah, hey, shoot. It's highly illegal if you get caught. So it's rocket rockets. What's the, uh, the little rocket they put inside? Elon want to put a rocket inside the next car, bro. I can't wait. Can't wait to see it. I want to turbo this. You want to do it? Planning on you gonna do it. You gonna do it. I've been watching videos. You gonna do it. He said, Man, I already invested in it. He's like, I'm already there mentally. Like, if I can get her turbo without issue, that would be the only reason I would silence my muffler. Just so I can hear that. Right now you turned up. When we, <laughs> but when you but when you got when you got the put that rocket on it, you're like, oh hell no, nah, you're not catch me. <laughs> oh. Thanks, bro. Because as is she tops out at 106. That's still fucking low. Before the sprocket, I could hit upwards to 120. How'd that feel? Amazing. Float. I've done it in a car. You see, doing it in a car, but doing it on a bike, that's different. Dude, I've been I know it feel like it too. I know it feel like it too. My dream bike? Oh, yeah. Well, tell me, I didn't even ask. Tell me what's your dream bike, bro. YZF R1M. RZF. Can you write that in my book for me? Write yes, it in sir. my book, bro. Write it next to the T-Tone. Right, right, dream bike. Right, dream bike on that shit. We manifest, bro. <laughs> dream bike. And you, do, and you do the same shit I be doing, bro. Like, if I can show you, I know there's a page in here where it's like I kind of had to do it. Like, that it on here? Like, I do I do that a lot, bro. That whole little, yeah, the just, that little zip. Like, oh, yeah. there, there, there it is. I, be, yeah. I be doing that shit a lot, bro. I don't know why. You 
it's, it feels so natural. Uh huh. Thank like you. it's. Yeah, it's that little your own personal flair. Yeah, bro. It's just just cause, bro. I'm just added up there. Yeah, hey, bike is a thousand cc's of raw power. It will not know I'm on. That's just. Would that be the? Would that be the, the? How many cc's is this? Three twenty one. So what's the highest you done? What's the most power you had? Six thirty six. How'd I feel? Was it too much for you? Like, well, fuck that shit. I need to wait. I hit 125 in third gear. Damn. There are six. My, my bad for the smoke. My bad for the smoke. You're good. I used to smoke cigars. Oh, where? I've slick been trying to catch a whiff of it. <laughs> that one's nice. I like that. He said, I'll slick trying to catch a whiff of it. Okay, okay. It's got a nice, Aroma. almost like a sweet coffee tone to it. But it's mixed in with that tobacco that, just right. And this ain't this why I know they shit, bro. Cause it's like, yo, this ain't sports, bro. You know what I'm saying? You really gotta know what's going on. You gotta know what's you know what's going on with this shit to recommend it to somebody to say what type of taste it's gonna be a, a spicy taste, a peppery taste. Have you a tried oak um a dark Lenox? Nah. It is a beautiful dark Maduro cigar. Bro, and we gotta is, act, I actually gotta sit, we gotta actually gotta sit down and smoke one, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Wait, but oh, so tell me this though, cause you said you gotta get back into it, why'd you stop? Um some about the cigars? Yeah. It just one is it's pricey. It's, it's uh, yes, it's and it's a habit I can't afford. <laughs> oh yeah, like the Lenox alone is an eight dollar cigar. Oh really? Yeah. That ain't bad. It's not too bad, but it's bro, 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 bro. My current favorites are my father and Leaf by Oscar. And them shits be fifteen. The boy got it's some fifty dollar sticks in there, bro. For one. Yeah, bro. It's some shit, bro. I've been doing that for a little bit. I'm like, Think, what? Uh, highest I've paid for a cigar would be twelve to fifteen, and I it was for a war horse. Okay. Probably a little bit thicker than that, but it stuck. And it had that. Um, I just got this shit because it looked like a car type of shit. It's like flathead. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah it, look, it look like some car type of shit. Hell yeah! Yeah, it's like uh, it had that that um, what's that? What's the way they roll it out? Where it's almost it looks like a joint. Torpedo? That, yeah, it was torpedo. And that was my first torpedo. Those should be looking so cool, bro. Just should be looking too cool. And I bought it because I was walking home from work. Hey, bro, you day. lit. Because it's like, I didn't have my first cigar until I was like 27, 28. Damn. So for you to say like, yeah, bro, I used to have, I'm like, bro, you already on a different wave. I started at 18. Oh, 18, you turned into a whole man, bro. Because, you know, I don't know, you know Shia LaBeouf, right? Yeah. Transformers, you know Shia Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> He, but he said some shit. He was like, you know, in society, our society, our, we don't have a custom where where does a boy become a man? Mm -hmm. I'm like, my son, when he turned, bro, this is your first guy, bro. <laughs> Get the fuck lit, bro. The fuck lit. Hell yeah. Damn, bro. So, I'm fucking. Lit. I know you. Got, I know you on the clock and whatnot, bro. I'm gonna let you rock. Um, but I'm, I'm on live right now, so. Uh, That's all right. My manager knows I'm good for everything I do. He knows I'm gonna clear that board by the end of this it's your work ethic. At the end of the day, like I've come in hours late, still clerked that old boy. Damn. And he he knows I'm good for it. He's never. That's worked. why he joked you. He, 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 he like, but I know this nigga going down. Yeah. So he gonna hold you the fuck down. Hell yeah, yeah. He, he knows I'm good for it. He knows I'm gonna come in and get it all done. All right, bro. I got a question. What's up? Cause I'm about to sit down and do my um. It's, it's cigar talk. You know what I'm saying? But first, I was trying to figure out where I. I was trying to figure out a nice classy place, but this shit was fucking lit. This is better than being classy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is yeah. classy. This is, you know what I'm saying? We're going to call this, bro. This is luxury right here for me, bro. That was, that's, that was a luxurious ride to me, bro. I feel like she deserves her own class. High class. <laughs> the class of menace. The class of menace. It's classy, but menacing. It is, bro. It's a little bit edgy. You got to have that You gotta have that part to you. Mm -hmm. Now, these are my next two episodes of Cigar Talk. Best anime. Best Ooh, anime. Ooh, that's a hard one. Right, 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 right. Oh, that is so and, hard. And cause, and cause fuck all this new trendy shit, you gotta give respect to some OG shit. And it's just like. I know exactly who you need to ask that question. But I'm, I'm not talking, I'm talking to you right now, I know, bro. I'm just saying like for best, a future one. Best anime overall, worldwide, global, right, is so what? For me, for me, let's see. Black Clover was soft. I've never even heard of that. Bro, you gotta check so, it out. Hold on, but but hold on, this is what I'm gonna this and you, you gotta hear me out here. Listen. The fact that I've never heard of it 
that says something about his greatness. And I love too, it's not overhyped. No, 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 no. That's not a good thing. I know. For me, it is. Oh. Uh, I love low catching key. things before low it's key. overhyped. Low because key. I don't okay. want to be looking like It'll take I'm over. a train hop. I don't okay. like that. I don't like that. Okay. A lot of people do it. I, I try to go against the grain. But, oh, love it. I'm not here to agree or disagree. You know what I'm saying? Speak your shit. Talk your shit. Stay in no business, all right? So, boom. So, because what I'm saying, top two got to be, it's only been, in my, in my opinion, because it's a, it's just a conversation, not debate. But, Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z, bro. Solid. It's like, Solid. we're like, this, it's like undisputed type of shit. Dragon Ball Z is definitely in and my you top just saw, five. you just no, saw. top three. Is he still, top three? Is, oh, top three? Like, okay, okay. Dragon so, Ball still going, too. Okay, Black Clover, Dragon Ball, and what else? What's each other? Stop three. Your big three. You said top three? I know. I've watched so many, though. It's so hard. They're so good. I asked them for best anime. Or what? I asked them for best anime. Um, His first response was Black Clover. I don't know any anime. So oh, I'm man. Okay. JoJo Bizarre Adventures. JoJo what? JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. I'm about to check this out, bro. You just put me on this stuff. It better be good. Now, are they so good that if I just watch one episode and be hooked? Okay, with JoJo's, it is a slow start. Mm, okay. But it builds and builds and builds. And then don't be like, yo, it's there ramped up. There are generations of JoJo's including the whole series. And what about Black Clover? Black Clover is along the lines of fairy tale. But you know there's wizards and shit okay but it's like not like i used to i read all the harry Potter except for the third one so i'm gonna well, ain't that type of wizards okay, oh, okay. <laughs> we're talking grim wire okay okay like weapons spawning out of portals lit this it almost has the same story plot as naruto young See, kids i had the, to knock naruto because naruto is kind of boring yeah they too many films you, that's, 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 too I, many I just films. said that bro it's so many episodes that you gotta take out just because no, nothing happens. I finished reading Naruto, I did not finish watching it. That's some shit. Uh, I'm a, hey, now. James. What's up? Uh, you, the question you asked about that? Yeah. Uh, I see 260 all famous. I didn't run them because you were on schedule. And I've been doing all three. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so yeah, this is why I wanted to get the after your contact with yeah. so I could like, Intentional or not? Yeah, you will not receive any intentional things. Yeah. If I send it, I meant it. Got it. Go ahead and uh, push those through now. See you next month. Yes, sir. You handling business, bro. Tool talk, man. Tool talk. Tools ain't cheap. <laughs> hey, bro, you might need to start your. If you ever decide to get a podcast and shit, that'd be that'd be some nice shit. My I've shit is called, my shit called cigar talk, but tool talk, TT, tool talk, that shit fucking up. Bro, you be working on cars and shit, bro. And you working on your bikes. You only got you ain't gotta come here, but if you working on your boy bike, tool talk. You educating people how to fix bikes and shit. Yeah. The shit fucking lit, bro. And you, your whole first series is rebuilding this bike and shit, bro. All right, so I'm gonna let you out, bro, because you got fucking. You know what I'm saying? Dude, that is sick. But I just wanna get some, some, you know what I'm saying? Tool talk. Do that shit, bro. Hell yeah. You fit in it. It could just start off you just in your in the garage fixing bikes and shit and just talking on your whole shit. 210. 210. Bro, 210, tool talk. 210, tool talk. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck yes. Hey, appreciate you, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Hey, shit, uh, you can send messages on YouTube, right? Comment. But I got Instagram. It'll take you straight to the same thing. All right, bet, bet. All right bro. Damn, that's so fucking low. Now I'm about to do it. I'm gonna walk back over to the other side. But that's too fucking low. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's too low. It's too low. 
So I got visuals for today. I got visuals for today. We're gonna edit that up. Damn, that shit hot. And then now we about to go. We about to do the episode of Cigar Talk. We're gonna have. I'm just. I gotta put it up there. So things I want to talk about on Cigar Talk, and it's just like I gotta do it just so it can be separate lives. <laughs> And I can sort have the content sorted out because sometimes I just be chatting, 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 and it just don't be what's with all of I just be chatting, chatting, chatting. So now it's like, like I can say something, and it'll be in a video, but I don't know which live I was on when I talked about this or I talked about this. So I gotta, you know, what I'm saying, start separating the content. I just gotta go live at different times. But just keep it going. So, I'm sure over here. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if she's over here. If she's still here, I'm gonna ask like, yo, if she can spare two? If she can spare two dollars, I'll go in the Dollar Tree, get some snacks, and then, Come back out and uh, do the mutt bang. Go do the mutt bang. I don't know if she's still here. But even if not, you know what I'm saying? Even if not. Um, but then, yeah, you just saw that. You just saw that. We're gonna let that one sit. We're gonna let it do its thing. We're gonna let it do its thing. So, there's two things I wanna talk about. Oh, I wanna rank the, I wanna rank Pokemon and then say best anime. Those are two episodes I wanna do. Rank Pokemon and then best anime. Now, this is a nice car too. And then, just because I don't want to watch my comment, I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna just record in front of this car. It's just different. It's just a different vibe to it. It's just fucking different. So, hey, boss man, can you do me a favor? You mind what's over here? Hmm? You mind what's over here? Yeah. I gotta ask though, bro. I be vlogging and shit. Huh? I'm a YouTuber. I be vlogging and shit. But I, I, I ain't got your camera. In. I ain't got you on the camera. But I gotta ask though. Why you ain't in school? Why you skipping, bro? Huh? It's a vice I got it to do. Hold on. Okay. Let me also say this. I taught at Berkmore. Okay. I, I used to teach, so I know. I know that you like. I know that you're not allowed to leave campus during the vice. I know what advisement is for. If I'm the, advisement, hey, I'm, advisement is for you to do your extra work to catch up on shit. You gonna tell me I don't got nothing to catch up on. I know you I know you're skipping. You know what I'm saying? Like teachers aren't supposed to teachers aren't even supposed to leave school during lunch. So I know students aren't. You know what I'm saying? I used to teach, bro, so there ain't shit you can say to me. <laughs> you ain't probably been in school? Huh? You ain't probably been in school either? What? You ain't probably been in school? Huh? Bro, there's no reason. I I just want I just want to chat. I, like, cause I like I used to teach, bro. I used to teach math. You know what I'm saying? So um, I, I used to always ask my students, like, why are you skipping? Because, like, at Berkmar, when they catch you skipping, bro, they'll take a picture of you and some shit, and then it's like, who is this student? Da, 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 da. I'm like, uh, and so if there's anybody in my class, I'm like, look at this, y'all. Like, did this person look familiar? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Ha, 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 ha.
That's what I feel like schools needed, bro. I feel like schools needed people planted certain locations, certain spots, and just to talk to the students. And you catch them on some stuff like this, right? You catch them on something you dress regular, so they don't even know. They don't even know. They come, bro, you just heard it. It was on this one and it was on the last one. What are they gonna say? Oh, it's a Bosnia right now. So they don't feel like they should be there. And now I know that we lying, it's 12.30. I don't know. They may have switched to but if Bosnia is earlier in the day, 12.30 around this time, this is like lunchtime. It's not Bosnia. It is so messed up, bro. Like, I, and you know, I've now caught four students skipping. And their common excuse is, it's a Bosnia. I'm like, bro, I know what advisement is for. Advisement is for you make up stuff. And your next thing that you're going to tell me is that you don't have nothing to make up. I already know what you're about to say. The boy had nothing to say for you. He had nothing to say for I've been on, I'm on such a wave now, bro. I'm, a t I'm just trying to tell people, I'm like, this is your next lie. So this is your, that was your first lie. You already lied to me. So here's your next, you're going to lie again. This is your next lot? You have to think I said, you have to think we're better, a better lot. You have to think we're better lot. Okay. So now, let's get it. I'm going to run this live. I'm going to keep smoking this cigar. But we're going to have two conversations. We're going to have two conversations. One of them was the best anime. And the next one, ranking the Pokemon game. So let's go.